Welcome back, guys, and we are getting ready for the tip-off between Truett McConnell and Life University Lady Running Eagles. Starting tonight for our Lady Running Eagles, we have number 20, Andrea Martin Ruiz, number 14, Sarah Vitti, number 22, Annalisa Edor, number two, Micaiah Simmons, and number 25, Brianna Sims. Starting for Truett McConnell. We have number three, Chloe Williams. Number 11, Destiny Lovejoy. Number 21, Mahala Stewart. Number 22, Casey Williams. And number 33, Kaylee Kelly. As you all can remember, um, unfortunately, our lady running Eagles lost their first game of the season the other night. Um, they lost 75-71. It was a tough, intense match. Um, they battled till the very end, but after speaking with Coach Hawkins, she definitely trusts her team and knows that you know they have the maturity to come out here and fight and get a win to go one and one to start the season. Tip goes to Life. Simmons with the ball. Down to Edor, over to Sims. Back up to Martin Ruiz, over to Sarah Vitti. Step back three, no good. Offensive rebound by Edor, and that is good for the first two points of the game. Ball inside to Kaylee Kelly, high post. Back to number three, Chloe Williams to Lovejoy. Scoop layup, and it was a miss, but offensive rebound by Kelly. Secured by number 22, Casey Williams. Back up to the high, point, high post to Kelly. Six seconds left to go on the shot clock. Four, three, and we get a steal. We're going to have a foul there on... 22 Edor. Chloe Williams with the ball up top. Gets it back down to Kelly at high post. Over to Lovejoy. I'm sorry, over to Stewart. Offensive rebound again. There we go, secured rebound there by Edor. Pushed by Simmons. Kick the Sims inside the E door. Double team down low. Ball gets tied up. Ball gets swung all the way over to Lovejoy. Back up top to Casey Williams. High post shot there by Kelly. No good. Goes out of bounds. Turnover by Truett McConnell. Simmons with the ball, bringing it across half court. Up top to VD, swings it over to Martin Ruiz, back to VD inside, kicks it out to Sims, who drives baseline. Gets bumped, ball goes out of bounds, stays life basketball. <laughs> Defensive rebound there by Kelly. I'm 
almost a turnover. Scoring drought here for the last two and a half minutes. Rebound by Martin Ruiz. Cushion in transition. Goes all the way, kicks it over to Simmons. Couple dribble pull up and that is good. 4-0 life. Checking in for life is number 34, Powell. Stewart with the ball up top, passes it in to Kelly. Back over to Stewart, tries to hit Kelly on the dive to the basket, count the bucket. First two points for Short McConnell with six and a half left to go in the first quarter. Ball down low to Powell, spin move. Looks like she got hit, but no call. Transition pass up to number 22, Casey Williams. No good. Sims with the ball, drives baseline, kicks it over to Micaiah Simmons, who swings it over to Martin Ruiz. One dribble pull up, no good. Jump ball with Kelly and Sims. Teasley checking in. Shot by Beatty for the three and it is good. Aggressive defense here by Teasley. Almost has the 10 second violation, causes the turnover anyway. Checking in for TMU. Number 12, Sydney Smith. TMU is in a really aggressive zone here. Skip pass over to Martin Ruiz. Baseline pass over to BD. Missed three, but that's okay. There's an offensive rebound by Powell for the putback. And count the bucket. Foul is going to be on number five, Megan Morris. Subbing back in for the Lady Running Eagles, we have number 22, Edor. Checking in for TMU, we have number two, Reed. And that free throw is up and it is good by Powell. Lead is now up eight, scores 10 to two. Life University leading. Teasley saying with the aggressive one-on-one -on -one defense. Almost a steal there by Simmons. This defensive pressure by the Lady Running Eagles has been magnificent to start the first quarter. Ball in to Morris. Over to Williams. Back to Smith. Over to Lovejoy. Tries to get the ball in to Morris. Five seconds to go on the shot clock. They don't realize it and they don't get it off in time. Great defensive possession there by Life. Seven back in is VD. But before she does, we're going to go to a media timeout.
remember that your Lady Running Eagles will be playing their next game on Thursday, November 2nd at Warner University in Florida, and that will be at 4 p.m. They will be competing in a conference challenge. Following that game, they will turn around and play again on that Friday. If you weren't able to make the game earlier, men's basketball won 84 to 76 against New College of Florida. Dara Alanaday had a double-double with 24 points and 16 rebounds to help his team secure that win. Men's basketball team now remains 2-0 going into uh, for the start of their season. Lady Running Eagles looking to gain their first win here tonight. Little high ball screen there. Simmons trying to hit Teasley on the back door cut. But ball went off of a TM, uh, player on TMU. So it remains life basketball. It's going to be a turnover right there. Bad pass into that post entry to Edor. Full court pressure by Teasley. Pump fake there by Reed, who gets the ball over to Stewart, who drives in for the take and is fouled by number 14, Vitti. Sending number 22, Casey Williams to the line. First shot was no good, second one ends with a make. Martin Ruiz. Skips it over to Teasley, who hits Edor on the inside. Quick turnaround. No good. Almost a steal there by Teasley. Giving extensive ball pressure right here. And the crowd is loving it. Teammates on the bench hyping her up. Ten seconds left to go on the shot clock. Number two lets it fire away and that was a miss there. Checking in for the running Eagles, we have number 10, Casa Pelu, and back in number 25, Sims. Ball gets one to Casapello. Back over to Simmons, drives baseline, pull up jumper, no good. Transition push by Smith. Over to Reed who takes it all the way. Miss layup, rebound. Push and transition, Simmons has it, drives baseline. Unfortunately she dribbles out of bounds, losing the ball. Reed skips it over to Lovejoy. Almost another steal there. Back over to Lovejoy in the corner. Gets her own rebound. Throws it away there. Checking in for life is number four, Nakaya Booker. Ball 
ball up top to Sims. Back. Sims has it, one dribble, tries to look inside for the pass, gets it deflected. And the foul is called there on Sims. Checking in for TMU, we have number 32, Alexis Brewster, and number 35, Kaylee Kelly. Kelly with the ball on the wing. Looking inside to Brewster, doesn't have it. Ball swung over to Reed, stolen by Booker. Mar Casapalua up to Simmons, who's back to Casapalua. One dribble pull up, no good. Coach yelling for the offensive rebound. Over to Reed in the corner. Stolen by Simmons as Reed tried to Bounce the ball off to somebody else. Simmons going coast to coast and is fouled as she attempts to go up. Fouled by number 12, Smith. Sending Simmons to the line. Checking in, number three, Chloe Williams. Free throw is up and it is good by number two, Simmons. And that's two for two from the line there from Micaiah Simmons. Trying to pick up full court pressure there, but it's gonna be a foul on number four, Nakia Booker. Checking back in is number 21. Maisha Teasley and number 20, Andrea Martin Ruiz. Ball deflected by Edor for the post entry pass. Ball gets tipped out of bounds. It's going to be Life University basketball. Martin Ruiz with the ball up top. Over to Teasley. As she goes up, she is fouled on the play. That foul is going to be on number 32. Alexis Brewster. First free throw is up and it is no good. Offensive rebound by Nakaya Booker. Ten seconds left to go on the shot clock. Martin Ruiz with the ball. Five seconds. Over to Vidi. Ball is deflected by number 20, Queen. Two seconds left to go on the shot clock. 51.5 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Full court pressure right here from life.
poked from behind by Teasley. And she gets rewarded with the bucket. It's going to be a foul call on Teasley with the body. Great steal there by Teasley. Just waited for the crossover, and she finishes with a transition bucket. Another steal here by Casapello with 13 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Score is 16 to 3. Checking in is 21, Malaha, excuse me, Mahala Stewart. Shot is up and it is good. Second is up and that is also good. Sending the lead 18 to three. Six seconds left to go and tied up. Another jump ball action. Stays TMU basketball, 4.5 seconds left to go in the game. Brewster with the ball, turns it over as she tried to pass to number 20, Queen. And that is the end of the first quarter. Score is 18 to three. Life Women's Basketball up. Leading the way for our Life Running Eagles. It's pretty balanced scoring right now. I will say though that uh, so far, Maisha Teasley's defense has been exceptional Two steals so far, contributing to other deflections to help her team get the ball scoring in transition. But leading the way, we have Maisha Teasley with four points so far and Micaiah Simmons with four, following really closely is Sarah Vitti with three. And Lafina Powell with three as well. For Truett McConnell, They've had two people on the board so far, have number 33 Dobbs with two points and number 22 Williams with a point. I had the opportunity to speak with Micaiah Simmons after their loss the other night. And I basically asked her, I was just like, you know, what gets you going to have such that great defensive intensity. And she said, you know, my teammates, I can hear them when I'm out there, they're cheering me on, they're, they're so hyped up and pumping me up. And she said, we had such an amazing crowd the other night that all it did was just give me energy and get me pumped up. Well, you know, I told her that she's just such an amazing player to watch. And um, she was just so happy and proud of her teammates for showing up the other night. She gave a little kudos to Andrea Martin Ruiz and, uh, Sarah Vitti on their exceptional play, you know, despite the loss. And, you know, she's taking ownership of stepping up and being a leader for Coach Hawkins this season. So expect just to see some more out of her today with that leadership role. And, and as we already said, I mean, as a team, just their defensive intensity so far has been phenomenal. Starting in the second quarter, we have Maisha Teasley, number 21. Makaya Simmons, number two. Annalisa Edor, number 22. Andrea Martin Ruiz, 20. And Sarah Vitti, number 14. Starting for TMU. Oh, backdoor pass. 
Almost stolen there, but Simmons recovered. Kicks the ball back up top. Inside to Edor, who tries to hit Martin Ruiz on the backdoor cup, but she double dribbled before that could happen. Starting the game for Martin Ruiz, we have number 20, Queen. Number 35, Kaylee Kelly. Number 21, Mahala Stewart. Number 33, Elise Dobbs. And number 23, Asia Gant. Ball gets inside, high post to Dobbs. Seven seconds left to go on the shot clock. Ava Queen cut into the basket, but couldn't secure the pass. Teasley pushing in transition. Deflected out of bounds by Queen. Checking back into the game, number 11, Destiny Lovejoy. Ball inside the E-door, back door cut by Martin Ruiz with a high floater and a good rolling right there. Extend the lead, 20 to three. Trap action happening there. Leaving Short McConnell to have to call a 30 second timeout. Again, the one thing I can say about this game so far is defense, defense, defense. That has been the core factor for Life University so far. And this is going to head into a media timeout. Also speaking with uh, Coach Hawkins after the post game the other night, you know, she really spoke highly of her team and just said that she knows that she has, even though they're a young team, she feels that they're very mature. She knows that they can handle the pressure that comes along with this. And she's actually super happy about the fact that she has so much depth this year to be able to turn to on the bench. She says she knows she appreciates the fact that when their names are called, they're ready to step onto the floor and go. Ball gets inbound to Stewart, stolen by Teasley. Another rip for her. It's going to be her third steal. Count the bucket on the other end. Stewart back with the ball. Five seconds to get it across half court. But Teasley giving a ton of pressure. Almost a 10 second call there. But instead, it's going to be a foul on Teasley. That's going to be her second. Checking into the ball game is number 25, Sims. Making her first appearance to the ball game today is going to be number zero, Darren Ziegler. Ball up top to Dobbs, swings over to Gant. Hits Lovejoy, pump fake. She attacks the basket going left, and it's a foul by number 24, Baltera. Lovejoy at the line for two. First shot is up and it is good. Second free throw is good as well for Lovejoy. Valtteri brings the ball across half court, swings it over to Ziegler. Hand off to Sims. He drives down, looks inside, gives a little pump fake. 
Shot goes up and is no good. Rebound by Queen up to Hobbs. I'm excuse me, Dobbs. Ball over to Gant. Swings it to Lovejoy. Down to the corner to Queen. 12 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Queen fires it up and is no good. Rebound by Vitti. Skipped over to Ziegler. Hesitation kicks out to Baltera. Pump fake. Kicks it over to Edor. Nice spin around jumper. No good, but almost an offensive rebound by Sims, but it's going to be a foul. As number 33, Dobbs was able to, to secure that rebound, and it's going to be an over the back call there on Sims. Checking back into the game, we have number 22, Casey Williams, and number two, Micaiah Simmons. Williams with the ball, attacking left downhill. She tries to do a spin move and she gets the bucket. Score is 22 to seven. A little under seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. Lakai hits Vidi at the high post. Fires away, no good. Offensive rebound by Ziegler. Back to Ziegler in the corner for a three. And it is good. Three point shot made by Ziegler. I believe there was just something going on with the scoreboard that the ref wanted to fix. But the score is now 25-7, life leading the way. And as we talked about earlier, that defensive pressure is only going to stay as they get into a man-to-man -man full court pressure here. Lovejoy with the ball. A little bit of trap action. She gets out of it, passes it up to Gant. Back over to Stewart. Gets it back over to Lovejoy, over to Williams. Ball screen action by Morris. Back over to Stewart. Who gets fouled on her pull up jump shot by Baltera. Two quick fouls there by Baltera. Checking back in is going to be Nakaya Booker, number four. Checking in for TMU is number two, Brinkley Kate Reed. Second free throw up, and it is good. Quick push here by Micaiah Simmons going coast to coast. Looked like she got fouled, but no call. Ball inside to Morris, who hits the high post jump shot. Seems like Team U is trying to chip away here at the score. Their defensive pressure has now picked up. Checking back in for life, we have Lafina Powell, number 34. Full court pressure there by Booker, guarding Stewart. Almost threw it away. Ball almost got stripped away 
by Ziegler. Simmons stepped in to take a charge, but instead it's going to be called a blocking foul on number two, Simmons. But it's going to be on the floor. I think they're deciphering if it's going to be a shooting foul or on the floor. Rest have decided it's a shooting foul, so Williams will go to the line for two. First shot up, rims in and out. Misses the next one as well. Defensive rebound there by Simmons as she pushes in transition. Hits up Nakaya Booker who drives baseline. Misses, but offensive, foul, um, offensive rebound by 34 Powell who gets fouled by number five, Mares. Shot by Powell is good. Second shot is up and it is also good by Powell. Checking in for TMU is number 32, Brewster. Almost stolen there by Simmons. Stewart keeps it over to Lovejoy, back over. Ball is stolen now by Powell. Martin Louis Ruiz with the ball, pushes it up in transition to Simmons, who is fouled by number two, Reed. Checking in for TMU is going to be number three, Williams. Corner pass over to Ziegler, and it's no good for an air ball. Looked like she just kind of rushed that a little bit. I don't think she realized how wide open she was there. Another reach and foul here by Booker. That is now the fifth team foul, which with the new rules, I, I don't know how many of you know, but with the new rules, once you get to five team fouls in each quarter, the opposing team now gets to shoot two free throws. It's no more one and one in women's basketball. Shot is good by number 22, Casey Williams at the line. And another make there by Williams. Simmons up with a floater and that is good. Score is 29-12, we have four and a half left to go in the second quarter. Great steal right there by Casapelu. Lead to our offensive transition bucket right there. Assist from Simmons to Martin Ruiz for the easy two. Another steal by number 10, Casapelu, who goes up and it is good.
The score is 33-12. Life leading the way in this first half. So far in this first half, Life has scored 19 points off of the 15 turnovers by Truett McConnell. Smith back in the game. Trap action happening. Smith gets out of it. Trying to get the ball in the Dobbs, who has a strong post up. Baseline drop and finishes with that right. Give the two points to Dobbs. Ball inside to Powell. Double team, but goes for the spin move, and they're going to call her for the travel as she tried to weave her way through there. Another strong move there by Dobbs, who's going to work down in the post, saying, Count the bucket. Trying to get her team fired up. Three point shot attempt by Casapelu, but no good. But it's going to be life basketball anyway. There were three TMU players underneath the basket fighting for the same ball, and it went out. Ball inbounded. Good take. No good by number 10, Casapelu. But tip from behind. Get a steal. Ball with Martin Ruiz, who just goes right past Dobbs for an easy two. Sends the lead 35 16, two and a half left to play here in the first half. Lovejoy loses the ball out of bounds, but it was deflected by number zero, Ziegler. Checking in for the life running Eagles is number six, Braxton Young. Another steal there by Martin Ruiz. Who tries to get the and one, but couldn't finish the play. It's going to be a foul on number 12, Sidney Smith. First free throw is up and it is good by Martin Ruiz. Turnover there, transition. That is going to be the 18th turnover for Truett McConnell so far in this ball game. Truett McConnell in the zone. Ball to the corner to Braxton Young. Gets the ball inside to Powell. A little dribbling action there and the ball gets poked out and stolen by number 12 Smith who Takes it to the other end and almost gets the ball stolen from her. Stays TMU basketball. Ball 
Ball gets in to Reed, who was fouled by number 10, Casapelu. Again, um, because Life has five team fouls so far, any foul call during the remaining of this half will send TMU to the free throw line to shoot two, and that first free throw was up, and it is good by Reed. Second free throw up, and she gets the roll in there. Checking back in for Life is gonna be number two, Micaiah Simmons. Score is now 36-18, a minute and a half left to go in this first half. Life University Lady Running Eagles leading the way. TMU staying in this active 2-3 zone defense. Almost calls a turnover there, 10 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Tax the baseline, gets it into Powell. Spin around, no go. Martin Ruiz with the offensive rebound, no go. Up for Powell, and who gets fouled? <laughs> Foul is on number 33, Dobbs. Both of those free throws are good by Powell, who remains perfect from the line tonight, six for six. Um, excuse me, five for five. Ball goes into Dobbs down low, who's been working in the post. And she gets fouled as she goes up. Foul's gonna be called on number 34, Powell. Checking in is going to be number 22, Edor. So far, Life University has a few girls and just a little bit of foul. I don't want to say trouble, but some things they just got to keep in mind. We got number 25, Sims, with two fouls. Number 24, Baltera, with two fouls. And number four, Nakaya Booker, with two fouls. Both free throws are made there by Dobbs. 35 seconds left to go in this ball game. Um, excuse me, in the first half. Double team happening. Edor held onto the ball too long. Simmons trying to go for that steal right there and Smith not letting her. That's going to be a foul there on Simmons. So this is where, even though you want to be aggressive, you have to be smart because any foul, once again, sends the team automatically to the free throw line, allowing that gap that you have for the lead to kind of shrink going into halftime. First free throw is up and rims in and out. And she misses both. 15 seconds left to go on the shot clock. I'm sure coach is looking to hold it for the last shot. Over to Braxton Young for the three point shot and that is good. And that is the first half of the ball game. Score is 41 to 20. Life University leading the way. Key scorer so far for life is number 34, 
Powell with seven points. She's five for five from the free throw line so far today. Also number 20, Martin Ruiz with seven points. Followed up by Maisha Teasley uh, with six points. Micaiah Simmons with six points. And it's just pretty even balance scoring throughout the rest of the team. For Truett McConnell, 33 Dobbs is leading the way with eight points. And she only has a little bit of help from the remainder of her teammates, but we'll see what happens in the second half. Both teams have been shooting decently well from the free throw line tonight. Life University shooting 77%, while TMU shooting 71%. But what's been the, the key factor for the lead here for Life University tonight has been the 18 turnovers they have caused TMU just here in the first half. Out of those 18 turnovers, Life has been able to put 22 points on the board. 18 of those points coming from inside of the paint. I know Coach Hawkins mentioned to me the other day that she really wanted to work on her team playing more inside out as she felt like in game one they really played a lot of outside in well when you have great defensive pressure you know it's so easy to get those inside buckets like you want but I can see that they really are focusing more on getting those inside touches into the post players today as you've seen Powell already has gone to the free throw line five times who's five for five and they've been crashing the offensive boards with six offensive rebounds so far in the first half. Keep in mind that your Lady Running Eagles will return to play on Thursday, November 2nd at Warner University in Florida. That'll be at 4 p.m. It will be for a conference challenge game. And your men will return to play next Saturday at Truett McConnell at 2 p.m. I will return back to you guys after a few minutes through halftime and we'll kick off the second half.
Welcome back, guys. We're here for the second half of this ball game. It's been a great ball game so far for the Life Running Eagles. And, you know, I will say, even though despite the turnovers for TMU so far, they've really been fighting, chipping away at that score. Starting here for the second half for the Life Running Eagles, we have number two, Micaiah Simmons, number 25, Brianna Sims, number 20, Andrea Martin Ruiz, number 22, Annalisa Edor, and number 14, Sarah Vitti, back in the ball game. Starting for TMU, we have big bucket there by Edor to extend that lead in first bucket of the second half. Starting for TMU, we have number 11, Destiny Lovejoy, number 22, Casey Williams, number 33, Hobbs, Dobbs, excuse me, and Eurostep transition layup, almost a bucket there by my Kaya Simmons. Also starting this uh, second half for TMU is number 21, Mahala Stewart, and number three, Chloe Williams. First free throw from uh, Kaya Simmons is no good. That last foul on the play is going to be on number 21, Mahala Stewart. There was, looks like there was some kind of mix up or the wrong game ball being used. So got that switched out. Second free throw for Simmons is good. Turnover from the full court pressure there. Stewart picked her dribble up and threw it out of bounds. Vidi with the ball up top, swings it over to Simmons. Double screen action there for Simmons. Skips across to Sims, who drives baseline, pull up jump shot. No good. Defensive rebound there by number 33, Dobbs. Almost a steal there by Edor. Dobbs with the pull up J, no good. Three life players going after the rebound. Ball gets tipped out, and it's gonna be TMU basketball. Has to be better communication right there. Still there by 25 Sims, who kicks it up to Simmons. Quick lay in, and it is good. Score is now 46 to 20 here at the start of the third quarter. Smith with the ball at top, passes it over to Lovejoy, who hits Dobb at the high post. Back over to Smith, they're looking for Dobbs as she dives down to the block. Takes a couple pound dribbles in and goes up and gets the foul call on Edor. Sending Dobbs to the free throw line for two. Checking in for Life University, we have number 21, Maisha Teasley. And checking in for TMU, we have number 23, Asia Gant. Speaking of Teasley, she had a phenomenal first half, had such a strong defensive presence. 
causing a lot of chaos for the TMU players. Dobbs making the second free throw there. Checking in for TMU is number 32, Alexis Brewster. Simmons over to VD, VD over to Sims. Back to high post pass, trying to get a high low there from VD to Edor, but stolen by Smith. And then stolen again by Teasley, who hits Simmons and misses the layup. Offensive rebound. Coach telling Sims to slow the ball up, hit Edor on the inside. And we have a three second violation. Back to that full court pressure here by Life. Gave Team U a lot of trouble there in the first half. Little high-low action, in and out, kicks it to Lovejoy for the three in the corner, and she knocks it down. Big spark right here for TMU. And turns around, and Life just has another unforced turnover from Simmons that time. Checking in, number four, Nakaya Booker. Brewster with the ball down low, spin move, and she's fouled. By number four, Nakaya Booker. That is going to be Nakaya Booker's third foul. Brewster at the line makes the first one. Second one is up, and that was a miss there. Short. Coast to coast by Sims, but is fouled before the block by number 32, Brewster. Although Brewster did block the ball, she got a lot of body there as, she, as uh, Sims went up. Sims at the line for two. First free throw is up and rimmed in and out. Second free throw is up and it is good. Man to man full court pressure there again. Immediate turnover by TMU. Score now is 47 25. A little under seven minutes left to go in the ball game. Corner pass over to Sims, who knocks down the three. Teasing and Sims going for the trap there in the half court defense. Almost stolen, but Brewster secures it and gets to the basket. Transition pass up to Simmons. Drives baseline, hits Booker in the corner, who does a spin move and gets to the basket, but no good. Offensive rebound and a little bit of a tangled up there between Simmons and Lovejoy. So they're giving the foul to number two, Simmons. So it's gonna be TMU basketball. That is now Simmons' third foul. Another full court trap there. And this time TMU breaks the press. A couple risky passes, but they get it through with Brewster scoring down at the other end.
TMU in a zone defense right now. Trying to get life to start shooting some outside shots, but that's the last person they want to shoot an outside three right there, Sarah Vitti, who knocks it down. Full court press here again. This time, no bucket. But life just kind of throws it away. They're getting a little careless here. There are turnovers. Checking in, we have Martin Ruiz and Casa Pelu. Smith with the ball over to Gant. Over to Brewster, swings it to Lovejoy. Up top to Williams. Steal by VD. He tried to get the post entry pass. Coast to coast. Pass to Pelu. Oh, almost a uh, steal there by Booker who tried to poke from behind. That's going to be a foul. This will go into a media timeout. Checking in for Life University is going to be number zero, Deg Darren Ziegler. That last foul will give uh, Nakaya Booker four fouls so far in the ball game. So far in the second half, Life has had two big three-point shots, both by Sarah Vitti. Both teams have gone to the line four times. Pretty even there on the foul count so far. I think both teams are trying to stay aggressive, but not trying to get to the point where they're getting into foul trouble here super early. But with Life University right now in this third quarter, one more team foul, and they will start sending TMU to the free throw line again. And there's still a little under five minutes left to go in this third quarter. Trying to get the shot clock fixed here. Smith with the ball. Teasley closely guarding her. Mind you, Teasley's already had about four steals so far this game. Her defense has been exceptional. Jump ball action here between Brewster and Vitti. I'm sorry, it's going to be a foul call by, I believe, number 10, Casa Pelu, which, with that being the 15th foul, like I just mentioned, now TMU goes to the free throw line for the remaining of the quarter giving them a chance to, again, chip away at this lead. Number 32, Alexis Brewster at the line. And she makes both free throws. Score is now 31-55. Martin Ruiz with some crafty 
handles right there to get to the basket for the two. Lovejoy over to Brewster, who's able to finish the basket. Brewster coming alive, giving TMU a little bit of a spark here in the second half. Tried to get a quick push up to Teasley, who fumbles the ball out of bounds. Another foul here by Martin Ruiz, again. Lady Running Eagles have to play smart on how aggressive they're being. You're up by 24 points. You know, if you don't feel like you can get the steal, it's probably not smart to try to go for that, especially because it can lead to a foul, which again, in return, is allowing TMU to get to the free throw line. TMU is currently shooting a little over 70% from the free throw line right now in the ball game with 21 and 22 attempts. Sarah Vitti for the deep three, no good. Defensive rebound there by Brewster. Full court pressure here, looking for the trap on Smith, but she clears it. Brewster goes up, that one is no good. Martin Louise with the ball at top over the Sims. TMU in the zone, and they hit Teasley at the high post for a quick turnaround jumper, and that is good. Another steal from the crossover from Teasley. She lost it, though, as she was trying to get it as the ball rolls out of bounds. Checking back into the game, we have Micaiah Simmons, number two, and number 22, and Elisa Edor. Dobbs checked back in, number 33 for TMU. Number 22, Williams there with the scoop lay-in. Another turnover there by uh, Life. TMU saying in that extended and active 2 3 zone, but with that, you got to take away the high post action. That's where life is getting a lot of their open looks. Life ball underneath the basket, kicks it out to Sims. Over to Edor, high post who gets her own rebound. It's gonna be a foul on number 33, Dobbs.
going to be a timeout called here by TMU. With a minute and 53 seconds left to go here in the third quarter, Life University Lady Eagles are up 59-36. In this half alone, the uh, turnovers are still happening, but instead of it being just for TMU, as it was in the first half, it's been on both ends. Uh, both teams so far have over five uh, turnovers just here in the second half of the ball game. Ball over to Ziegler. Looks to attack through the zone. Doesn't have anything over to Sims for the quick three. No good. They're going to call a over the back offensive foul on number 22, Edor. Which again, as we spoke earlier, automatically sends TMU to the free throw line. First free throw is up and is no good. Second free throw by Williams is good. Three-point attempt by Ziegler. That attempt was a miss. Skipped over to VD. Intercepted by Sims. One dribble pull up. Offensive rebound by Ziegler out to Edor. Another offensive rebound by Simmons. Coach Tay telling her to pull the ball out. Lovejoy playing an extended high side of the zone. It's going to be a jump ball. Checking back into the game for life is number 24, Baltera. And number six, Braxton Young. Forty-five seconds left to go here in the third quarter. That's going to be another foul on Edor. That is going to be her I believe that was her fourth foul. Sending Dobbs to the line. And the first free throw was up, and that was a mate. Second one is up, and she gets that one to roll in as well. Score is now 59-39, 40 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Ball down to Baltera. 
skips it over to Simmons, who rips and drives baseline, pull up jump shot, gets fouled on it, but no, re uh, no foul call. Eighteen seconds left to go. TMU looking for the last shot here in the third quarter. Steal there by Simmons. Got seven seconds. Stolen back by Reed. And it's fouled by Simmons. there for Nakaya is going to be her fourth as she goes and has a seat on the bench. One may free throw there out of those two free throws from Reed. Braxton Young gets it up and almost gets that one to go in. To end that quarter, that's going to lead us into this final quarter. The score is 59 to 40. TMU really chipping away, trying to come back and reduce this lead. <clears throat> so far here tonight, it has been well-balanced scoring all throughout life's roster. Leading the way is Andrea Martin-Ruiz with nine points and Micaiah Simmons with nine points as well. Following very close behind with eight points is Maisha Teasley. And again, very close behind her, you have number 34, Daph Dafina Powell with seven points, and then Sarah Vitti with six. Leading the way right now for Trua McConnell, you have number 33, Elise, Elise Dobbs with 11 points. Falling close behind her, you have number 32, Alexis Brewster, who came in and really gave TMU a spark off the bench. Starting here in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Life University basketball. Martin Ruiz back in the game, and Teasley, who she gets the pass to in the short corner, knocks the two down. Another turnover there caused by Maisha Teasley, giving a ton of ball pressure there to Sydney Smith causing her to go back court. Sims with the ball and TMU in a extended high zone defense leaving open the corners and short corner action. <laughs> Looks like the shot clock did not reset. Two seconds remaining on the shot clock before TMU has to get it over to the other side of the half court line. Ball 
Ball gets across. Ball gets up to Brewster, who takes it strong to the basket, but misses it. Once again, just a little bit of stuff happening here with the clock. Still working to get the shot clock fixed, guys, and looks like we are all set now. Backdoor look there to Teasley, no good. And it's gonna be a tie up right here. Looks like Sims had the ball and number 22 Williams had her leg as she was trying to go up, but I'm not, too sure what the call was there, but it's gonna be TMU basketball. Teasley again, guarding the ball handler. Almost had another steal. Brewster with the ball at the top of the key. Another steal there by Teasley, who gets pushed in the back, but it was a no call. Ball down to Love Joy gets blocked by Teasley coming out of nowhere. Another block by Brewster. Kicked out to Reed for the three. No good, but almost an offensive rebound there by Brewster. Checking back in is going to be number two, Micaiah Simmons. Score is 61 40, a little under eight minutes left to go here in this ball game. Brewster with the ball at top of the elbow at the high post area. Kicks it over to Stewart, passes it in to Chloe Williams, who tries to go up and is no good. Gonna be a timeout life. But that last steal right there that gives uh, Maisha Teasley six steals so far in this ball game. And with that energy she's had since the tip, 
and she has allowed her team just to really push through here with so much defensive pressure. With almost 20 steals so far by Life University. That is what's helped them keep their lead against Truman McConnell early in this ball game. Ball up top with Simmons. We got eight seconds left to go on the shot clock. She takes it all the way and it is good. Shot is up by Stewart. That's no good. Defensive rebound by Casapelu. Martin Ruiz with the ball, drives baseline, ball bounces off her foot, goes out of bounds. Dobbs kicks it over to Stewart who rips and drives baseline and gets the end one. Simmons with four fouls can't foul right there or she comes out of the ball game. So smart move there by Stewart to recognize that. Six seconds left to go on the shot clock. Skips it over to Vidi who has to let it fly. Two seconds remaining on the shot clock for life. No shot clock does not reset right here. One dribble pull up. Makaya Simmons knocking down that shot at the buzzer. Dobbs with the ball at top of the key, gives it over to Stewart, looking for the that play where she goes down, and there's gonna be a charge on Dobbs. Taken by Powell. Dobbs lowered her shoulder, trying to go into Powell. Powell kinda, she didn't even really pull the chair, she just took it to the chest, went down. Another turnover here late in the uh, fourth quarter by V with a travel violation. Ball over to Williams who swings it over to Williams. Down to Dobbs, makes a move and looks like that one was short and her legs are given Giving that a little tired. Bounce pass into Powell, post move, no good. Rebound by Dobbs. VD fighting for the offensive rebound there with Dobbs. And it's gonna be a foul call on VD. We have a media timeout. 
This will be our last media time out of the game. Make sure you guys are tuning in and following both teams on social media, both Instagram and I know the men's team now has a TikTok. Make sure you're staying up to date with some of their content, pregame, postgame interviews, as well as just getting to know the team a little bit better and their schedule for the remainder of the season. TMU basketball here. Mars with the ball at the top. Quick rip and pull up by Stewart. No good offensive rebound by Williams. Skipped over to Reed for the three. Another miss and then another offensive rebound by Williams. Defensive rebound secured by Martin Ruiz. Little crafty moves and she loses it again. This situation right here, you're up by 23 points. Slow the ball down, run the clock out a little bit. No need to rush into getting something that's gonna be a contested layup. This is the time where you really focus on your plays and the execution. Full court press here by TMU. Ball up to Baltera. Back to Martin Ruiz over to VD. Good ball movement there. Casapelu with the quick drive and the bucket is good. Pass over to Reed, back over to Mares. Back over to Reed in the corner, coming off the ball screen here. Seven seconds left to go on the shot clock. Williams with the ball, quick rip and drive, but rims in and out, defensive rebound by Vidi. Quick pass over to Vidi for a three point shot and that was no good. Three-point attempt by Williams. Defensive rebound by Martin Ruiz, and it looks like she got slapped in the face by Reed, number two, for TMU. Subbing in for life, we have number 25, Sims. Checking back in for TMU, you have number 20, Queen. And number 35, Kelly. 2.49 left to go in this ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Your score is 67-42. Life University Lady Eagles with the lead. There's that inside out play that Coach Hawkins was talking about that she won it from her team and gets them an open look from the free throw line where number 10 knocks it down.
Checking back into the game is going to be number six, Braxton Young. Ball on side to number five, Morris. Blocked by number 34, Powell. Ball up top to Sims over to Braxton Young. Backdoor pass over to Casapalu, and it's going to be an and one. Great look there by Braxton Young. Great cut there by number 10. Offensive rebound by Powell. Gets stripped from her. Out the read for three, pump fake, one dribble. And that will be a miss. Got a timeout here by Life, just to get some substitution in. Subbing back in is Baltera. Kick out to Vidi. No good. Offensive rebound, Baltera with the Euro step. Almost an and one there, but gets the foul call. And 24 left to go here in the ball game. Baltera misses the first one. And she makes the second one. Another steal. This time by Braxton Young. Misses it, but had her teammate Sims there to follow up. Stewart with the ball at top. We got 50 seconds remaining in this ball game. Three point shot by Queen. And it rolls in there for a three-point play. Valtera pushing the tempo. Quick pass in from Braxton Young into Powell. Steal, a little scramble there. Powell goes up and just fouled. I was going to be on number 35, Kaylee Kelly, sending Powell to the line for two. Another offensive rebound, 19 seconds left to go. Sims puts it up. Offensive rebound, Powell, no good. Another offensive rebound. This time it's taken away by Queen. Fast break here by Kaylee Kelly. And she is fouled by Braxton Young with six seconds left to go in the ball game. Checking into the ball game, we have number zero, Darren Ziegler and Nakaya Booker. Oh. 
that first free throw for Kelly was a make. Second free throw is up and that was good. And that is our ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Your Lady Running Eagles with their first win of the season, beating Truett McConnell 75 to 47. Leading the way for your Lady Running Eagles was number two, Micaiah Simmons with 13 points, followed by number 10, Casa Lapel with 12 points. Maisha Teasley with 10 points. And just great overall scoring presence from everybody. Great bench help from everybody. What a phenomenal game tonight here for Life University. Overall thing I can say was that their defensive pressure started at the beginning from the tip off and it never let up till the end of the ball game. Leading the way with that defensive pressure is, we talked about her all game long was Maisha Teasley with with six steals for the evening, followed closely by number two, Casapalu, with four. Overall, life shot 14 to 22 from the free throw line. Thirty-three percent from the three. They had fifteen assists. Really shared the ball well tonight. They caused thirty-three turnovers, which resulted in thirty-six points off of those turnovers. Please remember that Lady Running Eagles will be attending, will have their next game next Thursday, November 2nd at Warner University in Florida, Warner University in Florida at 4 p.m. for a conference challenge game. And then your men's basketball team will be back at it next Saturday, November 4th against Troy McConnell at 2 p.m. Thank you all for listening and streaming with us. Hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and happy Halloween.